Hello, I'm Raven Bognat from STM15, and this is my letter to God. So for this task, we are asked to create a letter, and we will put it in a heart. And this is the heart that I made. So in the back, here is my letter. And in the front, you can see a smiley face. The smiley face represents the state of my heart. I'm currently happy. So in here, there is a designated space. And here in the space, I am going to put the small hearts. The small hearts represents the content of my letter. Which is, I'm going to thank God. I'm going to ask forgiveness. I am going to fulfill promises. Let's start. Dear God, Hello God. It has been days since I had a conversation with you. I have been busy with a lot of schoolwork to the point that I forgot where my roots and reasons to live. I am honored to take this opportunity to talk with you and it is my gratitude for you to listen to me. I never thought that I would be the person I am today. In the past 17 years of my existence, I have ups and downs, I committed many sins, and I don't know if I have done good things while on earth. But within those years, I experienced some of the best days of my life that molded my inner character. First, I am proud to be a consistent honor with a full scholarship on my back, which helped my family financially. As a result, my sister graduated from one of the best schools for ideology. Second, I gained many friends who are still here supporting me in everything that I do. They taught me one of the essential attributes of being a teenager, to be mature. Third, I am grateful to have my family with me. They raised me, fed me, loved me, and took care of me till today. From them, I learned ethics and virtues that I'll treasure forever in my life. And one of the best things that I've learned is humility. Lastly, in my years of serving the church, I learned to speak up and teach. The church taught me many values from your words, and I got the opportunity to share them with the youth through my experiences. Hopefully, the pandemic ends so I can go back to my Youth for Christ organization. Those are the things that I would like to thank you, Father. I know that this has been your mission in calling for me that I answered. Thank you for bringing me a life to live, to serve, and to share. I am grateful that you gave me family and friends for my mission and your mission to be a success. I would also like to thank you for the gifts of knowledge and wisdom you gave God because I achieved my goals and I realized my purpose which is to help my family and community. I will not be the person today if it is not for you. I owe everything to you, my Savior and my King. So the first thing that I am thankful thankful for is to live. That gave me many opportunities. As you heard. Second is the life to serve. I have been serving my church as well as my family for the past 17 years. And I am truly grateful for that. Lastly, 
I could share my talent, my skills in math, and my words of wisdom to other people. And I'm truly thankful for that, for that opportunity. Let's continue. One of the major sins that I have done is disrespecting my parents. There are times that I shout in front of them and talk back about what they are saying. I tend to encounter tantrums which stresses them out. It is just sad that I forget their value sometimes because of anger. There are times that I can see the sorrow in their eyes, but I continue to get mad at them, which is pathetic of me. Sometimes, I get tired of being with my friends. I get insecure with them, sometimes because of what they have. One of which is the feeling of being needed. Sometimes, I do not feel bad from them. That is why I ignore them or try to distance myself from them. Although I feel insecure, maybe it is still my fault that I think this way. There came a time that I almost lost belief in you. I know this may be a bad thing for a Catholic, but I have done that because I went missing in action in the church for almost three months. I also have some inconsistencies in attending the Mass because of not waking up early or being lazy, let's be honest. So I hope that you can forgive me for every sin that I have done. I will take my time to repent and rework to do better soon. Hopefully, you will give me another chance to change for the better. I admit, really admit that I have sinned and I am lifting them to you, my God. Okay, so, the first sin that I have done is, as I have said a while ago, is disrespecting. So, I hope that my parents and God can forgive me about that. The second thing is being insecure. I feel like I shouldn't be insecure about something because we are all created equal. And I should always I should always think about that. Lastly is being unfaithful. I am born Catholic. And I should die as a Catholic. And I have three things to promise. I feel that I need to change and act after the sins that I have done. First is, I promise to be humble. In everything, I should not be boastful or wanted to be the center of everything. I will try to tone down the feeling of being needed because sometimes life is not everything about me and I should be proud of that. Second, I promise to be more mature. The reason behind my tantrums is simple things that bother me. I get easily irritated by things that cause fights between my parents and me. That is why I need to control my anger through maturity. It is the gateway for me to respect my parents. I need to handle things well with the help of discernment in everything that I do. Lastly, I promise to love. The love I promise to show is not the ones with the relationships like boyfriend or girlfriend, but this love is for everyone. It starts with myself by showing contentment at the same time being happy with what I am. That love includes respect for my parents, care for my friends, 
and devotion to the church. I want to make everyone feel that they are loved and that someone is there for them. With your help, I hope that I can show them your love as well. May God them. So, those are the promises I would like to fulfill. The first one is being humble. I always feel that I wanted to be the center of everything. So, I wanted to tone that, tone that down a bit. Second is, I want to be more mature and I will try to do that. Lastly, I want to love. Of course, who doesn't want to, but I want to show my love more. Those are just the things that I would like to say to you, God. I hope that soon I can fulfill this promises to improve and at the same time thank you for listening to me. This is one of the children, Raven Bob. Thank you and this is my letter to you.